an open letter to Governor Hope Uzodema on the airstrike by the Nigerian army in Olo. I write this letter with a very troubled heart to express my thoughts on the recent airstrike by the Nigerian army in Olo. First and foremost, as the chief security officer of Imo State, I must not fall or fail to state that many Imolites are disheartened by the way you have handled the situation, as many of us believe that you should have erased an outcry over the activities of the Nigerian army in Imo State. I do not dispute the fact that the Eastern Security Network ESN is completely outlawed by the federal government of Nigeria. However, the use of such air power was too much. In, May, in my opinion, the Nigerian army was already doing a good job at neutralizing the activities of the Eastern Security Network. Hence, the recent airstrikes have succeeded in creating more fear in the hearts of many Imolites. And this can make the host community, although can make them irreceptive towards the Nigerian army. Sir, I urge you to release a press statement that would silence the tension that is already building up in Imo State. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. Well, um, the message is clear. Very, very clear. But then the question is, will Governor Hope Uzodima heed to this write-up or to this call? Or will he accept this message that has been sent to him? See, Uzodima, I won't lie to you. Personally, right from our very, our studio here, um, we've been very, very uncomfortable with the way things has been in Imo. Even um, while trying to um, do broadcast on it, while doing the broadcast, we get completely, um, we feel completely disappointed with the way the administration is handling the people. We start asking ourselves, is this not the people that voted this administration in? Is this not the people? Is there anything that the people may have done to this administration that will make this administration to be treating them in this manner? There is a complete unrest in Imo, as we speak. Imo light no longer sleep with their two eyes completely closed. I can assure you that Imo light now probably sleep 1, 1 a.m. or 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning. That is when they sleep in Imo. Yesterday, see what happened yesterday. Yesterday was something else entirely. The old emo was in. In fact, everybody in emo were just running elter skater. You see that? They were just running elter skater. Everywhere were so disastrous. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to begin the broadcast. I don't know where to end the broadcast. Fighter jets flying here and there. You, 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 you need to, you, you need to start hearing the voices on the background. People crying, lamenting. Some persons were saying, "What is this? What have we done to Imo government?" Some people kept calling on Uzodima. Oh my God! My viewers, I started, I started imagining myself being in Imo. Eh? And we have loved ones in Imo. What are we going to say that is the reason why Uzodima 
um, has accepted to be quiet on this issue. What are we going to say that has made Uzodima to dance to the tune of the Nigerian army? Our Nigerian army, they supposed to know that they are paid to protect the life and properties of the people and not to create fear in them, not to create unrest, not to create tension. <sighs> My viewers, how I wish that this letter that has been written to Uzodima, how I wish that Uzodima will listen. Because before this very one, I know that many persons must have written to him. That is, if only he accepted and listened to them. Because the tension in Imo State is becoming too is becoming too much. The people find it difficult to sleep. I will say that it's, it's, an, it's even an hostage. The people are held hostage. In Imo, nobody is allowed to move around. The case in Imo State now turned to the case, now turned to the case in Obibo in River State. And this is what the Eastern Security Network are trying to avoid. They don't want the case of Imo to be like the case of Obibo in Rivers. You see, you people came for, the soldiers came for the Eastern Security Network. Now they are not transferring the aggression on the people. In the process of going in search of the Eastern Security Network, they start going in search of the, of the indigents. Now they have resumed house-to-house -house arrest of indigents in Imo. They have resumed now again. They have resumed. What are we going to see? Eh? <laughs> My viewers, if nothing is done after today, if Uzodema doesn't take necessary step, necessary step, I mean necessary, the step that is supposed to take to put an end to this menace that is going on now in Imo State. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised at what is going to happen. You will not believe it. Let them go for the uh, for the for the people they came for in the southeast and leave the people alone. And let the people be. So please, my viewers, deem it free to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos.